What is going on you guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Camila Gornia. I am the founder of Heart Behind Hustle and if you are here, you probably want to see how to build a sales page in Thrivecart. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to do a quick tutorial that is a little bit like, eh, let's just kind of see what happens. And I am a huge fan of Thrivecart, by the way. If you want to check it out, it is an incredible shopping uh, checkout page tool you know, allows you to build funnels really easily and is just a one-time fee right now so if you want to check it out it is invite only so you do have to go to heartbehindhustle.com forward slash thrivecart but in this video i'm going to show you how you can potentially build a pretty simple sales page in thrivecart of course you can also have templates available and if you buy them i guess from people you can do that i don't typically build my sales pages in thrivecart i typically use that um use uh, click funnels for that. However, I've had some clients build actual sales pages on here so they don't even need a landing page builder or a sales page builder, which is super fun. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and pop into my computer in just a second, but before I do, let me know if you already are using Thrivecart in your business or if you're planning on using it or if you have any questions, go ahead and pop them into the chat or in the comments rather. And I'm so used to doing live streams, I'm like, chat. So let us know, and if you have any questions, I'm happy to support you as well. And of course, you do need that invite link in order to get uh, get signed up for Thrivecart, so that link is in the description as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop over to my computer, and here we go. All right, so I'm currently in Thrivecart here, and I'm seeing my products. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a new product just for the sake of this tutorial. And you guys are gonna see how easy it is to build a sales page in here. So I'm gonna do testing. I'm gonna change the price and let's just make it $37. And I have other videos, by the way, talking more about the features and doing a review and things like that. Um, yes, let's actually do a bump. So I'll do a different video about creating bumps and things like that. So test bump, let's make it $17. Processors, this is where I set up Stripe or PayPal, and I will do both because it is a low ticket offer. If you wanna do affiliates, you can set that up here. All right, let's just put our email address, display, okay, cool. All right, so this is where we go into check it, uh, checkout. This is where you get to select a few different options. You can do a standard cart, which is what I typically use because I do use ClickFunnels for my sales pages, or you can do a sales cart. So for this example, I'm actually going to use the sales cart. So I'm gonna click on next and now, if you have a design that you've already created from a different product, you can duplicate it by clicking this button here. You can also import a design. So if you know somebody that has created a page like this before and you wanna tweak it and you have access to their link, you can also import the design, but I'm gonna show you how to design your uh, sales page basically on here from scratch. So you will see that this is a very standard kind of like a checkout page already. Now. What we wanna do is we basically want to be adding things on top of here so that people have to scroll down to see the checkout, okay? So the first thing that I always like to do is let's add this bump. So let's just add an image here. Let's just, I'm just gonna add random images, okay? So don't even worry about it. So here's an image, don't miss, don't miss this amazing offer, um, blah, blah, blah. Let's just keep it this way, okay? Let's just leave it as that. So contact information, when you click on this, you will get to see uh, which of the forms and which of the fields you want to actually have included on here. So right now it is just the email address. I do like to collect their first and last name and I do like to collect their phone number if it's a higher ticket offer. If it's a low ticket offer, I don't typically collect the phone number. And yes, I do include the terms and conditions. So you wanna add the terms and conditions here. and we've got that here. Now, for them to go to the payment, they'll have to click on this continue button and then you can, of course, change the colors. So, you know, I just wanna kind of do it a little bit faster. And what I wanna show you is, I'm gonna go ahead and just edit this and I'm not gonna to talk too much over, but I want you to see how easy and how quick it can be for you to create your sales pages. So I'm building these things in you can use a toggle let's make it are all branded in this way like a little purple color and so they will already know what this is i'm actually going to delete this and this is just a summary of how much it's going to cost so what we want to do 
And what is this? Oh yes, this is the uh, the repeat of the steps. Okay. So what we and let's just change the color of this. So what we want to do here is we are going to add the headline. This is the headline that goes on top of the sales page. And I'm actually going to make this a little bit bigger. And then we're going to do a subheadline. And that's a little bit big, but I think it's fine. Let's also add an image. Actually, I think the best, best thing for a small page like this is to do a video. So we're going to have an, a video here. Just a regular video and you can embed the video right here. So I'm not going to do that. I am going to make this a little bit bigger. And let's just add a quick thing of text. Watch this video to learn more. So I do think if you can't make a long page, obviously it is better to just have a video. You don't have to have a video. You'll just need to add extra text on here. And I'll create a video in the future around a potential structure of a sales page so that you know kind of what to put overall. We do go a lot deeper into this, uh, creating sales pages and creating all the sales, ma sales materials inside of our program. So that if that's something that you need help with, definitely make sure that you um, go to the masterclass that's below. We have the Aligned Blueprint Masterclass. Go ahead and you can check that out. And then from there, you can book a call with me or a member of my team. We can talk about how we can help you implement this stuff. So let's actually change the background image. And that is too obnoxious. I'm going to make it really light. Okay. Maybe you want to add a logo actually on top here. So let's add a logo. It's way too big. We can make it kind of small like this. This is looking pretty good so far. You can change a lot here. You guys can see this. Let's adjust spacing. I see that there's a lot of space on top. I'm gonna move it. Okay, let's do a divider. And then let's do some more copy because a lot of people are not gonna watch the video. So if you are currently And then we can do a few bullet points. This is just a template, you guys. And you're ready, ready to introducing program and we can do an image here of the product so let's just do something like this let's make it a little bit smaller maybe let me add the first xyz to help people achieve y whatever fix course to help X people achieve Y. Actually, let's say in only four weeks. Okay. I'm going to do a divider here, actually. All right. Let's do another divider. I'm just going to pause this for a second because I have a call and then I'll come back in just a second for you guys as well. All right, I'm back. <laughs> so um, we got the introducing, we got all the details right here. Let's say um, what's included. Actually, let's move this underneath that. What's in, what will you, um, uh, uh, what's, let's say, mm, I can't decide. Well, here's, <laughs> here's what will 
you will discover. And then we can do, and let's do an emoji here. Actually, I think this one might be, yeah, it's not big enough. I like bigger fonts. So let's do, there we go, one, four, perfect, one. Hello, is it gonna happen? Week one, title of your module. And then underneath, I'm gonna add text and I'll say, you will discover X, Y, Z. Okay, I'm gonna add this so it's a little bit higher up. So adjust padding and then making it up here. And then I don't know why this emoji didn't pop in. Sometimes I have issues with emojis. I don't know why it's not popping in here. And I have this everywhere. It's not just a cart, you guys. So let me go to emoji. P oh, what what happened here? Emojipedia. And let's do one. It's a great resource for getting emojis. I want, but that's not what I want. Okay, let me just try this. The regular smiley faces are a lot easier, but this is not the one that I'm looking for. Man, my emoji game is not, okay, well, you guys can probably figure this out, but I'll just add, oh, come on, is it gonna work? Oh, thank you. Well, let's just keep it to this check mark then. You will discover whatever. And then I'll duplicate this. Let's make, let's say it's a four week course. And then we just move this over. Awesome. And then we do this because there's a weird space that popped up here. And there we go. You will discover week one, week two, week three, week four. All right. Let's do another divider. There's a weird space here too. Maybe let's say what exactly is included. And maybe you can do, you know, four weekly modules of trainings, lifetime access, PDF downloads, Facebook group, whatever else, right? blah, blah, blah. So this is not a long page, so I'm not gonna have like overcoming objections and things like that. Maybe I'll have a section that like who this is for, who this is not for. So, who this is for. And then I can just, yeah. Add a little bit around great fit for blah, 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 blah. And then let's just do one last little heading. Maybe you can add more pictures. I do like adding more pictures, but obviously this is not an actual sales page. So I'm just showing you how easy it can be. And I'll do ready to go, enter your info below. And then boom, let's actually change this. Blah, blah, blah. And then that's it, right? And then if we click on next, it's gonna take us to, well, it's gonna take us, shoot. Come on, mouse. My mouse sometimes just like doesn't work and it's refusing to move down. What is happening, my mouse? Come on. There we go. Does this ever happen to you guys? I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with this. Anyway, I would probably just reiterate things here again. Complete order, whatever. You know, this is your chance to buy whatever. The best course for X who wants to Y in just 12 weeks or whatever it is that I said before. Now we wanna click on next again. And this is where you get to customize your thank you page. So if you wanna have a video on the thank you page, you move this over and add a video. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. And I would probably say, let's do a heading here. Congratulations, your enrollment has been 
successful or successful or something like that. Maybe you want to sound a little bit better. We can do this and then just give them like instructions. Next steps, check your email. What instructions? Or like, or like maybe if it's a, you know, whatever, you can just kind of tell them what to do next. And they can uh, download the receipt. And that's it. So this is now done. I'm going to click on complete. And all you really have to do now is you have to click on behavior to set it up with your email, right? So if you're using active campaign, add the role. So everybody, every time that somebody purchases this, they are added to a list and you have to make sure this list has been created in active campaign first, right? So then you can set up an automation in active campaign to send them the emails. And then you click on save and get URL. And there we go. This is the link that you can start using to get people to see your sales page slash checkout page hybrid. And this is how it looks like. Now this is, this is not something you're gonna see. You just have to make sure it's set to live. Mine is in test mode. So this is why I have a thing here. And I, of course, did not actually add a video in here, which is why there's no video showing up, but you will have to add a, um, an embed code. So if I go into, just to show you guys, go into design, launch editor. Let's just go on YouTube and get like a random video. Let's get a random video from me because I am the one that's creating this video, right? So <laughs> let's get this video going. And what you have to do here, clicking on this, embed code. So what you have to do on YouTube, you can have it as unlisted, of course, or if it's on Vimeo, you can add it to Vimeo. You click on share and click on embed. And then you just click on this and then you copy it, okay? Thrive cart, enter, done. Okay, now I'm gonna click on save, next, 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 complete. And then I'm gonna click on save and get URL. Now we can see this and look at this. There's the video, yay, there's the video. If I click it, it works, okay? So you can test this, you can tweak it out, make it your own, super easy. And then people just have to enter their name information, agree to the terms and conditions. You know, if they wanna add this, you can tell them to add this order bump click continue, they'll be added to finish and add their credit card information. But that is how you can create a nice, simple little sales page on Thrivecart. So hopefully this is helpful for you. I'm a huge fan of Thrivecart. If you haven't noticed, if you haven't grabbed the, if you haven't claimed your um, invitation to join Thrivecart yet, it's just a one-time fee, which is really amazing because every other software is a monthly fee. So um, yeah, if you want to check it out, you need an invite link, which is yours, is heartbehindhustle.com forward slash Thrivecart. I do have the link below as well, so you can check that out. But hopefully this video is helpful for you. If you have any questions, if you want me to make any other videos um, around Thrivecart or anything else, just let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, make sure that you subscribe and like, and hopefully I will see you in the next one. See you then.